Hi friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking briefly about the MBBS and MD program. For this video, I need your full attention because you might get lost in all this information. Before I get into this video, I would like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That will help me a lot. Also, you can follow me on all my socials, which is Anthony Gerard with the extra D after Gerard. If you have any questions or anything you want to ask me, sure, you can ask me there. There are two types of medical routes or pathways or whatever you want to call it. There's the US admissions and then there's the UK admission. These all lead to the ultimate goal of you becoming a medical doctor. However, the process within these admissions are somewhat different. First, I will talk about MBBS. MBBS stands for Bachelor's of Medicine and Bachelor's of Surgery. This is an undergrad degree that is offered in certain countries. It is offered in countries such as India, United Kingdom, and the Caribbean. This is a five and a half year program with one year of internship. This a professional degree that is designed to train students in all fields of medicine, such as human anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, and so on. I did a video, How to Get Into Medical School. It explains it fully, so go check it out right after this video. After receiving your MBBS degree, at the end of your studies, you are now a doctor. If that doctor wants to specialize and focus on a specific field within medicine or surgery, they will go on to do an MD program. This is considered a postgraduate degree, usually lasting two years and is only eligible to those who finish the MBBS program. MD specialization includes ops and gynae, peds, dentistry, and so on. It's like a doctorate or a PhD in medicine since it requires a lot of work and research. All of this, what I just mentioned, is for the MBBS program. Now, let's talk about the US on Canada MD program. So, MD stands for Doctor of Medicine. This is not an undergrad degree. It's not considered an undergrad degree. It's considered a professional medical degree. Students must do an undergrad degree first before applying to medical school. You can literally pick any degree. Psychology, biochemistry, biology, chemistry. It doesn't have to be specific to a medical degree. However, during these undergrad years, it's called your pre-med years because you're working to apply for medical school. After the completion of the undergrad degree, students then go to write an exam called the MCAT exam. NCAT stands for Medical College Admission Test. Only when students perform well on that exam, they can then go on to apply to schools and do the interviews and essays and applications, etc. The MD program is a highly, highly competitive program. Applicants undergo four applying processes just to enter medical school. So first you have your primary application. This is where you apply to the medical body or medical association before sending it out to schools. This is a lengthy process and requires a lot of thought and thinking when doing the primary application in order to move on to the next step. Then the association or the board or the council will send you an email or letter stating that you meet the requirements and now you can move on to the next step, which is the secondary application. This is where you apply to the school of your choice. So many students take the applications and send it out to a lot of schools. Then once you get past the secondary application, the school will reach out to you for you to come in to do a medical interview. After the medical interviews, then comes decision day or called D-Day. This is where you will find out if you are accepted, rejected, or waitlisted. The reason for this vigorous process is because the US medical schools are considered the pinnacle of medicine. Many MBBS students also want to complete their residency or further their studies in the US. This is not impossible. If one did an MBBS degree and want to transfer into a US medical school, it can happen. However, you have to take a series of exams before getting into the US-based medical school. These are called the USMLE exams. It has the Step 1 exam, the Step 2 CK exam, and step three exam. These exams are very expensive and requires a lot of time. So there you have it. That's the brief difference between MBBS and MD. If you have any questions, you know where to find me on my socials, which is just Anthony Grad with the extra D after Gadad. Okay, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. That will help me a lot. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.